boys and girls, I have really missed all of my friends at the Newstead Public Library. I hope everyone's doing well and reading lots of stories at home, having fun, learning lots, and spending time with your families. Uh, today I picked a special book. It's a book that my children always enjoyed reading when they were younger. It's called Is Your Mama a Llama by Stephen Kellogg. And we do have to thank Scholastic Publishing for allowing us to share this book with you online. Is Your Mama a Llama? By Deborah Guarino, Pictures by Stephen Kellogg. And I did select a big book this time so you can really see all the pictures. Is Your Mama a Llama? I asked my friend, Dave. <laughs> no, she is not is the answer Dave gave. She hangs by her feet and she lives in a cave. I do not think that's how llamas behave. Oh, I said, you are right about that. I think that your mama sounds more like a... What do you think, boys and girls? You got it, a bat. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend, Fred, here's little Fred. No, she is not, is the answer Fred said. She has a long neck and white feathers and wings. I do not think a llama has all of those things. Oh, I said, you don't need to go on. I think that your mama must be a... You guessed right, a swan. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Jane. <laughs> no, she is not. Jane politely explained. Here's Jane. She grazes on grass and she likes to say moo. I don't think that's what a llama would do. Oh, I said, I understand now. I think that your mama must be a... If you said cow, you got it right, a cow. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Clyde. Here's Clyde. No, she is not, is how Clyde replied. She's got flippers and whiskers and eats fish all day. I do not think llamas act quite in that way. Oh, I said, I'm beginning to feel that your mama must really be a seal. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend Rhonda. <laughs> no, she is not, is how Rhonda responded. She's got big hind legs and a pocket for me, so I don't think a llama is what she could be. Oh, I said that is certainly true. I think that your mama's a... What do you guess, boys and girls? Yes, a kangaroo. Is your mama a llama? I asked my friend, Lynn. Oh, Lloyd, don't be silly, Lynn said with a grin. My mama has big ears, long lashes and fur, and you, of all people, should know about her. Our mamas belong to the same herd, and you know all about llamas, because you are one too. Yes, you are right, I said to my friend. My mama's a llama. <laughs> and this is the end. Thank you so much, boys and girls, for listening today to Is Your Mama a Llama by Deborah Corino. And thanks again to Scholastic Publishing. And I want to remind everybody to check out the library website for all kinds of ideas, activities, things to do at home, also to download books. And please also be sure to check out our Facebook page. We have lots of great links for activities and fun things that you can do. Um, and we did start today, this Saturday, our first Lego challenge. So be sure to check on the Lego challenge and any Legos that you create, take a photo of those and post them 
and we'll share them with everybody. So until I see you again, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.